big day today. Holly's coming over to talk to me about food preparation. So I gotta go to the grocery store, make sure I have everything I need to put some healthy snacks and healthy meals together that she would approve of. But before I do that, I need to make sure I get my run in. Otherwise she's going to kick my butt again and I do not want that to happen. So quick bite to eat, sip of coffee, out the door and get things going today. Big day. So Holly and I talked about carving out some time on Saturday and Sunday to do some food preparations for the week. So just got back from the store. I got a whole bunch of random stuff, but I think I got some good stuff. So I got some bread. I found some bread that was only 60 calories and it actually tastes really good. So I usually have that for my breakfast. Um, I ended up with a lot of fruit this time around. So interesting going shopping now, keeping what Holly's saying to me in mind, because you end up just going around the perimeter of the store. I mean, that's where all the produce is. You go to produce and then dairy, which I also got some almond milk in here, which I'll show you later. Got some bananas. You can get vegetables that are in season. So right now there are a lot of cherries and there are plums, which I love plums. Um, some chicken breast. I cheated a little, I got it pre-made. Um, but it is grilled chicken breast, so that's good. Some carrot sticks, some celery. Um, we also have some pre-chopped veggies to roast, and also I don't have to chop them, which is great. Um, rice cakes, which is actually pretty good. Uh, depending what you put on it, it actually can be a pretty good snack. More veggies. Got some oatmeal, um, almond milk. That was kind of a hard switch for me because I do love milk. Um, so now I'm kind of getting used to almond milk and soy milk and uh, yeah, it's, it's growing on me. It's pretty good. But you have to get the unsweetened kind because I won't hear the end of it from Holly if, if I got the full vanilla sweetened version. Um, and then there were some really pretty tomatoes. Then we got some ground turkey breast, lean white meat, and some sweet potatoes. So now I'm going to prep and figure out what I'm going to make with all this stuff that I got. So where to start? I think we're going to do, I'm going to do the sweet potatoes first because those are going to be an hour. And then I gotta do my snacks. So I gotta chop these up with carrots and some tomatoes. Okay. Like the butts. Don't like the ends. Ugh. All right. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday snack. Uh, vegetables, okay. Let's do Brussels sprouts, I think a light saute with some salt and pepper. Okay, so turkey. I think we will fry you up with some salt and pepper. Oh, I think that's Holly. Okay, so you're just in time. I just got back from the store. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe okay. random, but I hope you approve. Okay. Yes. Well, tell me what you got, what you're cooking. Um, well, I was just gonna get started on the turkey, but I have sweet potatoes going in the oven. Uh, they should be ready in about 15 minutes. Um, and then I finished the Brussels sprouts for my veggies to go with my turkey. Okay, how are you cooking them? 
Uh, I measured out a teaspoon of olive oil. Okay. Yeah? Awesome. Okay. okay. I've made my snacks. Monday, Tuesday, healthy. Wednesday. We're going to see how the first Monday, Tuesday, okay. Wednesday goes and see what other snacks I want from there. Um, and then I was about to start on the turkey. Okay. Sounds good. What are you going to do with the turkey? I uh, probably just fry them up. Similarly to the Brussels sprouts, I mean, just one teaspoon of olive oil with some salt and pepper, maybe some onion powder and garlic powder. I think okay. that should be good. Okay, yeah, yeah. that sounds good. And if, sounds and if I need to put some something on it, I'll put some salsa on it later. Yes, yeah. low okay. calorie, do spices, spice it up, salsa is fine. Okay. Simple condiments like mustard is good, but no heavy sauces, anything like that. Okay. So, nothing creamy or nothing creamy. <laughs> no, definitely not. No. Stay away from that. Stay Two away pounds from of sugary cheese. Sugary sauces and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. So I see bits and pieces of things. Yeah. What What's your plan for your meals this week? What What is breakfast gonna look like? What are you um, doing this week? What are all well, your Well, I have like so date. Dave's Killer Bread, I found this bread that I really like. It's only 60 calories. Okay. Um, I think it doesn't have that much sugar in it either. Um, three grams of sugar, three grams of protein, three grams of fiber. So it's 60 calories. I'll do that with like a little bit of avocado and like um, hard boiled egg. Okay. Slice that up on top. Um, then my snacks. Um, yeah, and then um, so I'm thinking like turkey with um, the sweet potatoes and the Brussels sprouts for lunch. Okay. And then um, rice cakes are actually quite delicious they with are? stuff on it. <laughs> Agree. Yes. Yeah. They're horrible. Yes. Yeah. Um, peanut butter, avocado. Yeah. Peanut butter and blueberries are my my jam right now. Okay. I really like that. Um, okay. I'll do Very like good. half a slice of banana sometimes too. Okay. Um, and yeah, so that's that's my plan for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I also do have some cherries and I got some pluots too for like if I have a sweet tooth. So instead okay. of the chocolate bar, hopefully I'll steer towards yes, the cherries. Yes, please fruits and chocolate bars. Okay, when it comes to lunch, how are you figuring out how much to eat? How much are you going to pack for lunch when you put this food together? Um, I think for... The sweet potatoes, I got a couple of them, so and they're the smaller pieces, so I think that should be fine for like, I don't have to like measure that out by the cup full, do I? But I was thinking like for the Brussels sprouts, maybe like half a cup, and then like half a cup of the turkey? Is that wrong? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay, sweet potatoes, I do want uh -huh. you to measure them. Okay. So, do you have a food scale yet? Yes, I do actually. So okay. I have okay. this okay. little food scale. Okay. That should be part of meal prep. Okay. okay. So use this when you start packing your lunches to uh, weigh out your turkey. So okay. three or four ounces, depending on how much you're, when you're in my fitness pal and you're tracking all your food to make sure you get enough protein, you can log everything the day before okay. and see what you're going to be getting. So either three or four ounces of the ground turkey. So just go ahead and weigh that then put it into your lunch container oh okay? Uh, okay so then you'll know that makes more sense exactly how much yeah go yeah. by ounces <laughs> um and then the sweet potato same thing weigh it out by grams or ounces okay um and then you can log it in there and see how much it is okay um because just going by size you know is it small is it medium hard to say there's a lot of variation in calories there so just weigh it mm -hmm. measure it make sure the whole meal is you know probably around 300 calories and then pack that and then get that all in your container you're ready to go then you'll know how much you're eating for lunch okay. got it yeah that makes more sense because the other way just did not make any sense <laughs> yes so yeah. it'll take a lot of guesswork out of it and make it a lot a lot better so yeah what about dinners what's the plan for dinner um i don't think i plan dinner Okay, uh, that's um, a problem. Yeah, um, I was thinking like, well, cause sometimes I'll just stop by the store before on my way home from work. Cause I get out a little earlier sometimes. Like, well, no, that doesn't work with after my workouts, does it? Yes. Yeah. So I needed to get dinner. Okay. okay. You do need to get dinner because just as much as all the other meals, we need to make sure that you know what you're gonna eat for dinner. And dinner is probably one of the hardest things because there's that, I'm getting out of work late, I'm hungry, 
just run and go get takeout or just go get something that's easy and fast. That's what we're trying to avoid yeah. right now. So you definitely need to get some sort of food for dinner and have those prepped. Okay. Like you don't necessarily need to pack every single dinner. You might want to, but at least have the ingredients ready and cooked. So when you come home for dinner, you know, your chicken or your turkey or your soup or whatever you want to make is just done. So you don't have right. to come home at 7 p.m., cook up dinner, you're tired, right. you're hungry. So that's where you want to avoid binging on food that's unhealthy, snacking while you're making dinner. Just know ahead of time what you're going to have so that you and Dave don't resort to takeout take like out. you have before. I think that's why I didn't register at the store because usually Dave and I do take out every, yes. every night. That's so what that's to probably like, oh. Yeah. yeah, no, we gotta get rid of that. So I would say go back to the store this week and grab some yeah. chicken or whatever you wanna make for dinner that's gonna be healthy. But again, make it vegetable okay. based and protein. Maybe a little bit of healthy carbs in there, but right. plan out what you and Dave can both agree to yeah. for dinner that tastes good and is healthy and get that food cooked as well. That's just as important, maybe more than the lunches. Okay. To make sure that when you come home, food's ready to go. It's ready to eat. You've got healthy options. You're not scrambling to figure out something and then just opt for takeout because it's easier, okay? Okay. So, this is good, okay. but I don't want you to go back to the store and figure out what I mean, I could be. probably, because I do have like, I do have green beans, so I have vegetables, and then I just need to get like a protein. I do have brown rice, so I could do like brown rice okay. with like vegetables and proteins okay. and stuff. But that's something on that track, but make sure I have dinner. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and rice, make sure that's cooked ahead. That takes time. Make that this weekend or tomorrow, whenever you have time, get yeah. that ready. And then cook your meat along with this. When you come okay. home, you're ready to go. Healthy dinner is there. Okay? Yeah. There's no right. room for cheating. No, for, exactly. Yeah, we want to exactly. eliminate all yeah. the temptations and the opportunities to cheat and just make it simple. You come home, you're ready to go. You know what to eat. Yeah. You don't have to think about it. So as you can see, I've asked Diane to get a lot of whole, natural, healthy foods. And I know some people don't know exactly what that means. So when I say whole or natural, what that means is things like tomatoes and carrots and cherries, things that just come from the earth and haven't been processed. Um, things that aren't uh, in a box or in a can or are in the middle of the store where they've gone through a bunch of processing and chemicals have been added to them and sugar has been added to them. That's where a lot of uh, weight gain problems come from is eating those processed foods that are just full of junk and of things that your body is not used to or not supposed to be taking in. Your body doesn't really know how to process those foods. So I'm not putting Diane on a crash diet, as you can see. She's eating, she's eating full meals and I'm having her weigh out a good amount of food. I'm not telling her to live on cottage cheese and uh, yogurt or a few pieces of fish a day or a few vegetables a day. I'm not having her do some grapefruit diet or anything like that. I think a lot of brides or people just desperate to lose weight will go for those kind of quick fix diets that really just make you lose water weight. They make you lose muscle because you need more food to maintain your muscle. So when you're working out and you're trying to lose weight, you need to eat food. You need to supply your body with the energy that it needs. And when you eat foods like these, your body knows how to process it. It can do well with that. And you can still lose weight eating a good amount of food. You don't have to starve yourself. It's all that other junk that we pick up that we're not supposed to be eating. The candy bars and the packaged foods and, things, and convenience foods and fast foods and all that kind of junk. That's what really causes the problem. If you're eating foods like this, you should still be able to eat a good amount of food and lose weight at the same time. Plus you'll have energy, you'll be able to recover from your workouts well, you'll be able to build muscle. So when you're trying to lose weight, look for these kind of foods, things that come from the earth, things that are whole grain, things that are fruits, vegetables, lean meats, fish, things like that. That's really gonna help you to lose weight, stay energetic, and keep the weight off long term. All right, so now that your food prep is done, let's take a little time to just talk about how things are going. Did you get in your workout today? I did. Nice, I did. good I job. Got a nice little jog, and I did a couple of rounds of the stairs. Okay, cool. What about weights? Did you do any weight training at all? Uh, weights, I did not do. Okay. Yeah. Have you done it this week at all? No. Okay. 
All right, well, I know it's been a little bit of a struggle for you to get that in on yeah. your own. So I brought some products today so that you can work out at home. That way there's no excuses. You can come work out here on your balcony or inside yeah. and get some stuff in. So I brought you a couple of 10 pound dumbbells. Awesome. So those, I mean, obviously very multi-purpose. <laughs> You can do your bicep curls that way. You can do shoulder presses. Yeah. You can hold those while you do squats, lunges. Yeah. You can use them for all kinds of stuff. Back awesome. rows, so. Oh my God, this is so cool, thank <laughs> you. You're welcome. So please start using those at home. Okay. No more excuses. No more. I don't want just cardio. I need you to get some weights in, so. And then the other thing that I brought is, sure, go ahead. This bag of resistance bands. Oh, cool. All right, so I don't know if you've used these much at all. I won't pull out everything, okay. but I'll show you these. So what's cool about this set is that it comes with four different bands. So these are all different weights. Okay. So this is the heaviest one. This would be the lightest one. So you can combine the bands together if you need to. Like say you're doing a shoulder raise with the resistance right. band. You're standing on the band and pulling them out this way. Maybe it's a little bit too light, then you can add on a second band with this little clipping system right here. Okay, so you just, it's like a carabiner. Yeah. You just clip on a second band. And then you can get, then you can adjust that way. So you can work out your, you know, chest and back, you'll need heavier weights. Okay. Um, shoulders, biceps, things like that, you'll go lighter weight. So it comes with the handles on here. So you just attach those on. And then you stand on these and do, you know, some shoulder raises out to the side. Cool. You can pull them up and do shoulder presses this way. You can do a back row. Very cool. And then what I really like about these, which makes them really great for home and when it's hard to get to the gym, uh -huh. is that this comes with, oh, where's the, in here okay so this comes with um ankle straps and a door anchor so it's all in here so there's this little door anchor that when you put it inside of a door and close it then you can connect the band into it so that way if it's like hold it like this real quick okay. hold the top of this okay if that were attached into a door uh -huh. we'll pretend then you can do things like a back row this way or you can turn around and do a chest press or you can do like core rotations. For that, for yeah, okay. yeah, you can add on more for that. So that way it's stuck inside of a door so you can really do some heavier work yeah. um, and do a lot of things that it's similar to being at a gym, like a lap pull down or a chest press or something like right. that. It's harder when you don't have the door anchor, you're a lot more limited, but that way um, you can get a lot of different exercises in and mimic the gym. Yeah. And then it also comes with ankle straps. Okay. So this goes around your ankle. So then say you anchor it low in the door, then you can do things like a leg extension this way and work your legs. Or you can do a hamstring curl back this way, or you can do out to the side, or you can do a little kickback and work the booty, right. you know? So this gives you a lot of different options. You can do your lower body, your upper body, basically everything. So again, trying to make ways have no excuses to avoid right. the waist. So this, all this stuff you can do at home, awesome. out here, inside. Right. So I can so, do my cardio outside and then I can come yes. and just do like a quick circuit with the with all this equipment. Yes, exactly. So now you can repeat all of our workouts that we do here at home. No excuses to get yeah. it done. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This is so awesome. You're welcome. Yay. I'm excited. Yay. Good. <laughs> As you can probably see from this visit with Diane today, it can be a lot of work to change your habits and your relationship with food and um, just weight loss in general can be a lot of hard work. And that's part of the reason why a lot of people don't succeed with it. So if you're trying to lose weight, it's gonna be a big lifestyle change. As you can see with Diane, there's a lot of commitment required. There's a lot of time required. There's changes to your habits and the way you've been doing things that are gonna have to happen in order to get to your goal. So Diane and anyone really trying to lose weight needs to take time 
to prepare your foods and to think through what you're putting in your body and to make the effort to go to the store and to have healthy food around. And as you do that more, it really does become a habit. It becomes a lot more natural. You figure out what to buy, what's healthy, what's good. And it really doesn't take so much work once you get used to it. Then it just becomes a part of your new lifestyle. And that's what's really gonna help you to succeed in losing weight. That's what's gonna help Diane succeed in losing weight is changing the habits that got you to where you are with the weight that you're at um, and changing that lifestyle and adapting the ways that you eat and adapting your time and your schedule to be able to work out and to um, eat properly in order to lose weight. It's not easy, it's not convenient, I totally get that. I've been there, I've made those changes myself. But when you do it, it really will change your body, it will also change just your mindset. It really helps you to be more disciplined in all areas of your life when you're able to commit to a big change like this. And there's a quote that I really like from Ken Blanchard, and he says, there's a difference between interest and commitment. When you're interested in something, you do it only when it's convenient. When you're committed to something, you accept no excuses, only results. So that would be my challenge for you and for Diane. Don't just do what's easy and convenient. If you really wanna lose weight or make a change in your body, you have to commit to it and do it when it's hard and do it when it takes time and when it's not always fun. But the more you do it, you're gonna begin to enjoy it and see it as normal. And you're really gonna appreciate the results that you get at the end. So I got on the scale this morning and I'm at 157.6, what? So excited. Um, it's really motivating to see that number continue to go down. Um, all this food preparation must be doing something because down and down it goes. Um, I do wish that the numbers would go down a little bit faster, but you know what? Slow and steady wins the race. So I'm excited um, and I got this challenge. Woohoo! This week has been a real lesson in food preparation and how important it is to have food with you uh, wherever you go. Um, so this week, ProSource is giving away a six pack bag that has Tupperware to help compartmentalize your snacks and your food so you can take it with you everywhere you go. To enter to win this amazing six pack bag, go subscribe to the YouTube channel or leave a comment on this page with any advice you may have about food preparation or nutrition um, to help me along the way and share this video on Facebook and Twitter and or Twitter with hashtag FitForWed. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Make sure to read Diane's blog this week with all of her thoughts and things you didn't get to see at prosourcefit.com. Here's what you can expect on next episode. Hi. Grab your water bottles. Now we're gonna head over to the park and get this workout in. All right. All right. It helps because your knees cave in a little bit. Try and think about squeezing your butt and pressing up through your heels when you stand up. All right, you got 10 more seconds. And done. <laughs> You know, one of the big problems with alcohol is that it it actually prevents your body from burning fat. Like your body turns to the alcohol. Until next time, stay fit, stay healthy, and stay happy.